Hey everyone, and welcome. In this video, we're going to dive into how to download Kali Linux and then install it right inside our VMware Workstation Pro 17. So without further ado, let's get started. First, head over to Google and simply type Kali Linux. The very first link, Kali.org, is the official website for Kali Linux. Make sure you're on the official site. Once you're there, navigate to the Downloads section. You'll see multiple Kali Linux distributions available for different purposes. However, for this tutorial, we're going to select the Installer Images to download a Kali Linux ISO file. This is perfect for a fresh, clean installation in VMware Workstation Pro 17. Since I'm using version Windows machine, I'll choose the X8664 installer. Go ahead and click to download this Kali Linux ISO file. To save us some time in the video, I've already downloaded this file, so I'm pausing the download now. All right, here's our downloaded ISO file in the Downloads folder. Now let's switch over to VMware Workstation Pro 17 and create a new virtual machine. If you haven't watched my video on how to install VMware Workstation Pro 17, I'll add the link in the description. Please watch that before installing Kali Linux. Click on the New button. Then we need to select the ISO file we just downloaded. Click on Navigate to your Downloads folder and select the Kali Linux ISO file. It has automatically detected that our operating system type is Linux. Now to choose the specific subtype, click on the version drop-down list and select Debian 64-bit. Give your virtual machine a name. I'm naming mine Kali Linux. Next, choose the folder where you want to save this virtual machine. I've created a new folder specifically for this, titled Kali Linux 2025, on my E drive. You can choose any drive with enough available space. Moving to the hard disk section, for the size I recommend allocating between 60 to 80 gigabytes. For this demonstration video, I'm going with 60 gigabytes. You can choose less if you're just learning and have limited space. Here you'll choose the amount of RAM and the number of processors for your virtual machine. You'll see the available range indicated by... For this Kali machine, two gigabytes of RAM is generally sufficient, and I'll opt for two processors for better performance and a smoother experience while running Kali Linux. Once you've set these, click Finish. We've successfully created the virtual machine, and now comes the exciting part. Installing Kali Linux. Just click on the Start button, and it will boot up the installation process. Press Enter on Graphical Install to begin. Select your preferred language. Next, select your location or region. Now configure your keyboard layout and continue. The installation will now proceed. Just follow along with the steps prompted on screen. This might take a few minutes, so be patient. Choose a host name for your Kali machine. I'm typing Kali VM, but you can choose any name you like. For the domain name, you can enter any relevant domain or leave it blank if you prefer. Now create a user account for this Kali machine. I'm creating a user named Kali with the username Kali. Setting a simple password for this demonstration. Remember, for a real-world scenario or a system you'll use regularly, you must set a strong and unique password for security. Choose a time zone that corresponds to your region. For partitioning, select Guided, use Entire Disk, and Continue. Then select the recommended option, All Files in One Partition, and Continue. Choose Finish Partitioning and Write Changes to Disk, and Continue. Select Yes to write the changes to disk and continue. This might take a few minutes, so be patient.
Select Yes to install Grub Bootloader and continue. Select the available bootable device and continue. Once the installation is complete, you'll be prompted to restart. Click Continue to restart the virtual machine. After the restart, press Enter to boot into Kali Linux. Now simply enter the username and password we set for this virtual machine during the installation. And there you have it, your Kali Linux desktop. Here you'll find the Kali Linux tools menu packed with various tools for your cybersecurity tasks and projects. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. Share your feedback and questions in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more insightful tutorials on cybersecurity. Thanks for watching.